Hi, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? Yeah. yeah. I had a rough few days. I know. I know. My assistant uh, called me this morning. I'm uh, I'm I'm editing all my content, and she goes, "We've never had this before." And I go, "What? I've had other things similar." <laughs> but I go, "Oh my god!" She was like, "How?" I was like, "Oh," and I just like break down. You'll see in the very beginning of this recording, I'm like, "Oh my god!" I'm like trying not to cry. And let me tell you right now that this will be a little bit hard to get through for both of us okay definitely especially for you but at the same time let me just tell you that what i am hearing in my head is funny and it is fun and it is light and let me just tell you what's going on so first I, before they're just so excited before i get into this um i want to tell you how i get this stuff Okay, that way you can have a better understanding of what's going on in my head and how, you know, I guess it works. So number one, it's just going to be me. Um, I'm going to have this notepad. I'm also going to have, she keeps saying, do the thing, do the thing, do the thing in my head. So it's like, oh my God, we're all antsy. Um, so I'm going to have this pen. I chew on it. That's why it looks absolutely terrible. And so I do that <laughs> when I'm channeling because I get nervous. The mm -hmm. other thing too is that I'm going to have a notepad. I don't write anything down. I don't do anything like that. The only thing, this is a fairly new one. Oh, there it is. It's all over here. Um, but the only thing I do is I just scribble consistently it just kind of allows my body to do one thing or my brain is out in la la land doing something else the next thing is that people always ask how do you channel how do you connect well there's a couple of things that that um you always do it in light you do it with god um and so it's always positive um and what you do is I've trained myself to kind of like zone out and to feel after having like all these near death experiences and like being in that uh, the life is just a little bit different for me. And so what happens when you zone out, you allow them to like hijack your brain. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they use my signs and symbols that I've created. So things like if I see a white balloon, that means an anniversary is like happening in a week. If I see a colorful balloon, that means that a birthday is happening within a week. If I hear happy birthday, that means our birthday's today, like random things. So signs and symbols. Another one is feelings and emotions. So they'll come through and they'll make me um, feel um, uh, like phrases like I died in a car accident. That's a feeling or so it's not just like I'm sad. Duh. Right. But there's more. Um, the other thing is that they will try to put me in certain situations that either happen to them, uh, happen to you or will happen to you. And so they'll make me either see it through your eyes, through their eyes, or like almost like a fly on the wall. Sometimes people were in like comas or maybe they were unresponsive. And so they'll talk about, oh, there we go. Oh, they'll talk about like who's here and what's going on. The other thing and the last thing is that they will go and they will try to um, use words and phrases. So they'll come through and it's almost like, like right now I was hearing a voice just like, it's like not mine i'm not making it come in it's just there so it's like oh come on come on come on and it's very happy it's very excited it's very lively um and so that's a that's kind of interesting but what they normally do is they layer all that now the last thing before we get started is that i want to let you know that this is difficult for them they're using my brain and we are saying hey i want you to use her brain you've never done this before i we're we're depending it's obviously not that old. Um, and so they're new to this. And so now not only are they trying to figure out how to use and be spirit, but now they're going to try to figure out how to talk through me. So usually what happens is it feels a little weird, but as also as they've been gone longer, the easier it is for them to talk, almost like learning a language. So um, be with me. If you have questions, ask. If you want me to go back on hit on something, just ask that. But the only thing at first is I really want you to do is just be there and listen and tell me, yes, Amy, that makes sense. Or no, it doesn't. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make her work. And I'm going to say, okay, give me your information. I'm going to ask her questions in my head. And she's going to give me a packet of information. I'm going to decode it in a pretty quick second. And then I'm going to tell you. And then you go, yep, that makes sense. And I go, cool. We both got it. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's, um, this, <laughs> mind you, okay. So she's in a good place, which is great. Um, I'm, I'm very happy for that. So number one, this means that we didn't like 
kill ourselves or get murdered, which is wonderful. Um, so usually they're very uh, sad and lonely. So she like walks in and I had to go get tea and I had to go see if my husband needed anything because I thought he called me right before I went in your session. And all I hear is like, but, 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 come, come, come on, come on, come on. Let's, what, what, are, what are we doing here? And I was like, it's okay. Cause she's like on top of my butt, like making me go do things. And I'm like, all right, fine. And so she gets in here right now and she comes up to you and she's talking so fast. She goes, I love this. I love this man. I love this man. And he's talking about how she's your, um, I don't want you to think anything that I say is bad. Okay. It's just kind of like how I'm just translating it. She's talking about how you're a teddy bear. So, uh, you're, you're, you're very serious. You're very good, but how you're her softier, you're her teddy bear, you're her like little, you know, like that area. She says that you're a very good man and she wants you to know it. She does like this. She says that, um, one, I don't want you to think that this is bad, okay? So she's talking about you snoring and she's talking about how um, she she goes, you know, he doesn't sleep that well. And I go, oh, okay. She goes, but he still snores. So I sit there and I like watch this. And she's like, it's very interesting very interesting she's like even though he's still sad i'm there i go okay she says that one it's very hard to sleep in your bed do you sleep in your chair a lot or like out in the living room a ton sometimes but i, I sleep in the bed most of the time or Good. part of the night Good. anyway yeah. yeah okay this is what she says she's talking about you laying in bed and then she's talking about um do you have a bed that raises up or do you sleep on multiple pillows? Uh, we have a uh, adjustable bed. You do? Oh, how cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what, she, how interesting. This is what she showed me. She, I go, how does he sleep in bed? Can you tell me? I want them to show me what life is like. That way you know that they're still around. And mm -hmm. I go, how does he sleep in bed? And she says, well, he could turn on his side, but you know, that's really hard because with the head up like this, we just need to sleep on our back. And you know, and so that's what she's talking about. She says that, um, oh, I get in there with him. So she gets in there with you. She says, it's almost like she's been trying to get into your dreams, trying to get into your dreams. She is, um, she likes to come up and, and peck you like that. She just, y'all have like, I don't know how long y'all have been married, but you love each other. Like you really do love each other. Like she's talking about a moment of like grabbing and be like, mwah, 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 like these little sweet ones. And um, it's just so wonderful. She thinks that you are the best thing on the planet. Hold on, one. She's talking about don't get your ego up. That's what she's saying. She's like laughing about that. I go, what? We've been married 34 years. And oh my God. honestly, oh my. she hadn't been gone but two, three days. And I was asleep, taking a nap in the recliner during the day. And it felt like she kissed me on the cheek. Yes. Just like you're talking about. Yes, 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 yes. That's her. That is her because she, she goes like this. She keeps doing like this. So she's trying to tell you, like, I'm here. I'm doing this. This is it. And you're asleep. And she keeps trying to get in um, to let you know. She, well, I'm going to figure out what happened to her. Why? She's very, she was very excited about doing this. She was very excited about doing this. She goes like this. I said, um, not uh, not only like from her being passed, but before. I go, what's that? And she's talking about, I can't believe that I get to be here with you. I can't believe that I get a chance to like meet you. Oh my God, hi, how are you? Like in a really funny, cute way. And I'm like, I love you too. And she's talking about how it's very interesting to be behind the scenes. And I'm like, I know. And uh, we're just having this whole conversation. She says, okay, fine, I'll shut up. I can feel that she's wearing like all of this jewelry or bracelets because you can hear it all rattle mm -hmm. all the time while she's talking she says um she goes should i put on clothes do i need clothes and i'm like you don't need clothes um because <laughs> you don't wear clothes when you're dead but we still have all of our clothes in our closet she's talking about going through them she's like dah, 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 dah. and she says that you don't have mothballs in your closet weird do you Mm -hmm. yeah okay weird she talks about it smelling and i said why does it smell i said it doesn't smell bad and she says and i'm like mothballs maybe that's the only reason she says or maybe it smells like her Ooh, i bet that's what she's trying to talk about okay so we go in there and we mm -hmm, that's it um she goes like this and then she makes me go and i'm 
This is me. Yeah, a particular perfume that she wore all the time. Really? Yeah, and it ended up, they kind of quit carrying it. It's uh, Betsy Johnson. Mm -hmm. And anyway, I, we'd ended up getting her like three bottles of it <laughs> over time and stuff. So yeah. she have it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, babe. Oh, oh, I like that. She, I want to ask her. I wonder if it's like spicy vanilla. Interesting. Um, she's like, ooh, like that. Um, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. So what? <laughs> I wonder if it's pink. Um, what? Tell me. She's showing me all these signs in my head, and I'm telling her, slow down. The top that goes is on is pink. Is it pink? Like a little okay. pink thing that sits on yeah. top of it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. She keeps showing me pink. She shows me that. I'm like, okay. She's walking around your house right now with like, um, I would even say they're not high heels. I mean, a little bit, they're probably like an inch on it. And so you can hear thump, 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 thump. Like, I guess we have, um, like raised wood floors or something somewhere. I don't know, because you can hear the, the way she walks and she's talking about it's not kept up to my standards so she's a clean freak at the same time she likes to keep things very nice and she's walking around the kitchen she's like what is this what is this what is this um she's tell me yeah yeah um one don't push them away so the kids are coming over to help you so she has kids okay y'all do she talks about how um kids come over to help them or something like that don't she's telling you don't push them away she says that baby i'm here i'm here i'm here she's all over you what is what are you going to do without her Um, just because what she showed me right now is she made me feel like your heart absolutely breaking and the fact that it feels like you would have to go, you know, twenty years without her is a lot for, for me and thinking that way, I don't even like that. It makes my stomach sick because, ooh, that's very hard. Ooh. Ooh, she misses you. That's what this is. Mm. She's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so where were you at? What happened to you? Why, why are you dead? <laughs> Surround, quote, she just said, surrounded by friends and family. Surrounded by friends and family, my ass. I have no idea what that means. Oh, and we'll ask to, about that. She passed away at home in the... The kids were home, and her mom had come down, and we were, we were all there. I, I, she had been involved in things a long time, and I kind of knew she wasn't doing well at all. So I, her mom called and just kind of went, is it okay if I come down? I go, yeah, come on down. And then uh, the kids were home, so yeah. we were all there with her. Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. Yeah, she just, she like took like an ex an excerpt out of like a book and made me read it. And then she's talking about being frustrated that um, everybody was really sad because she's talking about, I don't want to go yet. Like, this isn't a thing, you know? And she says that, what, she's so nervous about leaving everybody. Uh, she says she has stuff to do. She has, she feels like a type A personality all the way. And I love this woman. Wait, so what? What happened with you? Wow, so everything just started shutting down. What is heavy on our lungs? What is... Hold on. Does she have like end-stage emphysema or cancer or something like that? And then it, it causes... Yeah. She had uterine, uterine cancer is how this all got started. And she had to have a radical hysterectomy, and she was going to have more treatments. We didn't know whether it was going to be chemo or what, but she started, she got a flesh-eating bacteria in her wound, and they ended up removing a, a huge portion of her outer skin, and it, it was, yeah, just kind of ate her up. Literally. 
literally. <gasps> she had, I mean, we were at Vanderbilt University in Nashville, which is a major hospital, and the surgical teams like it's it's like the biggest wound they'd seen, or one of them was how bad it was. And she had a wound back on, and oh, it was they just like yeah, it was it was not good. No, she's, she's talking about you. She just kept okay. getting weaker and weaker, and she went in and out of the hospital multiple times. She had to have eight more surgeries. Oh. You get rid of all the infection and keep it cleaned out. Oh. It's just too much for her. Oh, it is. So no wonder. Yeah, because I asked her, I go, I go, what happened to you? She's, I'll, I'll tell you what she's doing as you're describing this to me in just a second, but I'll have to finish phrasing this. She, um, I, I asked her what happened to her and she's talking about how we have cancer or we had cancer, but, but then it wasn't the cancer that killed us. It was stuff after that. Right. And so she's talking about how our organs are shutting down and she's just giving me like, Ugh. like, it's so hard to breathe. It's so hard to do that. And she's talking about how it's just fading. Right. Nice. Um, she, as you're talking, this is what she was doing. She's standing next to me. She has her hand like, like this. She's kind of like, she's not that tall. I would even say maybe she's like, what, five, six, five, five. How tall is she? Five, five. Yeah. Five, six. Uh -huh. See, right cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm six feet tall. And so she's like, she oh. puts herself next to me. So she's standing here like this. She's a little leaned over and you're telling me everything. And she goes, oh. Errol. Like she's just being all extra <laughs> and she's just letting you know that she agrees that it was absolutely terrible and that she's not there anymore. And she keeps talking about like, don't be in there. Don't remember that that away. She says that. Um, it's interesting. She kind of but she's a healthy lady. She says, well, maybe if I would have done something different, maybe my healing would have been different. And I'm like, I don't know what that means or what that, what, yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me. She, she um, she's was in as good or better shape than she'd been in years right before she yeah. had cancer diagnosis. She was walking every day and yeah. getting up and stuff. And yeah, she was really okay. interested yeah. in, in like what you did. Health. You know, uh -huh. and helping people with it. And she had been a, a counselor, a professional counselor for her career. And she had to retire a few years ago because of a health issue. And anyway, but she still is, was a counselor. Really? Everybody Did she ever she go? So, oh, okay. I have a question. Just because this came up in my last session, and I bet. I bet this came from here. Did she ever work with dying patients? She was uh, worked with hospice as mm -hmm. a volunteer and ended up being a grief counselor there for a couple of years. And she was like volunteer of the year, two years. And she's actually a Jefferson Award winner. Where wow. she, was, she had involvement in particular, it was the little girl that she wanted to make contact with, Miranda. Really? She yeah. She had a brain tumor and they'd given her a few weeks to live and she ended up living way over a year. And oh my God. You know, went back wow. to school and things like that, you know. Yeah. She was like, no, it's just not time. No. Oh my God. Did she end up living um till like eleven or twelve? Yeah, she was twelve. Yeah, cool. Okay, sorry. So let me just tell you what just happened here. You're talking and um, she's she's talking about what she did. So let me tell you about why I said that. So my last session before I left, I don't know, you know, obviously anything about what happens like for my next one. I just saw this when my when you know, and so my last client, I go, are I go, I know that you're a nurse. I go, but did you do like grief counseling or hospice care or something? I said, I keep getting that in my head. And she goes, no, that would be really hard for me emotionally. And I was like, huh. And that so was, when you said that, that yeah, 
that's your wife coming through to my session. So now with that little girl, you mention her, you're talking about her and she like leaves my head. She goes somewhere. She comes back with this short kid. Well, she's talking about, look how well she's grown up. And then I go, who is this? And she's saying, this is this girl. And then she shows me age. So I want to let you know that they've met, that they're together. Oh, it's, oh, I just want to know yeah. that, yeah. Uh, Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, it's a whole thing. So they're they're perfectly. Oh, hold on. We're going to bring people into and we're going to talk about the whole thing. What? Is your mom gone? Mine? Yes. Oh, OK. OK. She goes like this. I said, what are you doing? She goes, I went to go somewhere. I said, well, where? She goes, I brought his mama. That's all he said. That's all she said. I go, oh, OK. She says that one. God, Amy, you got to see this. You got to see this. That's what she says. I paintings. Weird. I just wanted to do paintings. Um, she she's Hillary, talking I about. Mean, really did. She did. She had done some of those wine and painting really? classes and stuff. Yes. Yes. She yeah. and she loved it. I've got several of them around the house. You really okay this is what she just said i go i go she's talking about your mom we'll bring her forward if you want to you know you just have to say yes mm -hmm. um she's there she's waiting in the wings um and i go i go well what what do you do what do you do she goes amy she and she brings up a movie um what dreams may come with robin williams um a long time ago and then she talks about you know, she puts the scene in where they're like while going into a world with paint and she says he has my paintings or he has my paintings on the wall or something like that and she says you can create whatever you want and i was like i know i understand that she says that tell me about she thinks that you know, she was doing such a good job where she was at in life, but she's so funny is because she comes back in and um, she likes to sit with you in the house. And she talks about how quiet it is, how it's so quiet that you can hear the clock. King, 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 king. That's just the thing that she plays in my head. And she's talking about how um, she goes, oh, it's boring. And I'm like, uh, yeah, you would be the one to talk about this because you're doing everything. She says that I want to ask him about what you do. What is your, um, what do you do all day? Hmm, let's see. Are you getting a lady to help you clean up the house? Yes, I'm keeping the housekeeper we've had for years. Yeah. You do? Okay, okay. She goes like this. He's, I go, what does she, what does he do all day? And um, she says, get after the toilets like they're, they're something. And I go, well, what do you mean by that? He goes, oh, no, she's, he's keeping the lady when he puts, she puts a like cleaning stuff. And I go, oh, okay. She says that, uh, stay on her, keep on her. Oh, we love her though. Like we give them Christmas presents or something like it's that close. Yeah. She says that, uh-huh. She says, tell her I, them, tell her I miss them. Oh, I'm good friends with all the family. She's just yeah, going off. What? Tell me more. So what happened at the end of life? What did you do? And how many, how many kids and what are they? And can you tell me all that? Hang on. She is so happy. She likes to have her nails done. She didn't have her nails done before she went or they were like really grown out or what happened with that? Well, her fingernails, she didn't, of course, couldn't have anything on them because of, you know, surgeries and they need to see if they turn blue or something like that. But her her toes, she had them painted when she started everything, and they looked just like they did after months. And she had a lot of comments on it. Oh, you got pretty toes. You know, you got pretty mm -hmm. toenail polish. She did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she did. She okay, good. She was done a lot. She usually had them done. Oh yeah, that's what she's talking about. She she comes over, she touches my hands, and she says, "Well, I didn't I didn't have my nails done." She says, "But I got like something something painted," and she's like, "And it was okay. I wish it would have been different. I wish I would have been more." I said, oh, "Okay." I said, "You were beautiful." She doesn't like me to see what's going on uh, with her hair at all. She doesn't. She's like like that. I want to figure out what happened. Hmm. Did we cremate her? No. Oh, okay. Interesting. She put herself, only reason why, I was like, she didn't feel like she'd be cremated. Um, she put herself in like an all white gown. And then she just goes like this. 
this and I go what are you doing and then she's going on like a maybe she's talking about being at the morgue I'm sorry that I think she she's trying a, to ex tell me she had on a white blouse she did in the car oh, in the coffin okay okay yeah she puts on a white like all she shows me is from like here up so it's white and then she goes like this and then she's talking about being slid in and um i think she's talking trying to show me what was like with her body what happened what did they go through what was it all she says that something about the lips or the lip color she keeps doing like this she doesn't like how dry they look too she doesn't like how um <laughs> he was beside you did you end up leaning down and kissing her giving her a kiss yeah yeah mm -hmm. she goes like this i said i said well where are you at she has this casket she has you coming up and she has you she's like looking over your shoulders because she's not standing she's floating and she has you watching and she has you being there and she's beside you and you lean over and do this and she goes oh she goes he can you stop i'm right here what do you mean i'm right here like she she's just over it um your wife is the bee's knees oh man what tell me tell him i sat with him the whole time she said i sat with him the whole time rousing what did you actually give a speech for her actually uh one of our good friends did a eulogy a part of the okay. Yeah. okay it was it was a gentleman mm -hmm. yeah cool okay she shows me a beard or a goatee that's what i was like is that here is that another guy um and she talks about this person talking about it she says that what what did you put there hold on she's trying to talk about afterwards like burial i'm seeing what she knows or what she can see and what she remembers oh wait did you buy a two plot one for you and one for her actually uh my two older brothers and my mom now we bought a block we bought 32 plots between us uh back i was about 20 when i bought them as far as i met my wife but we decided that with the way things were that why not get enough for our kids and you know, maybe grandkids could be buried there too and not have to worry about it. So mm -hmm. he's actually buried right next to her dad and I'll be right next to her. That's, wow. Okay, so you already did that. This is what she said. I go, so where were you buried? Can you tell me what it looks like? Can you tell me what happened? And she goes, well, I went down here and then she shows me what would look like a double headstone in my head. And then she says, and he's going to go right here. She said, she's like mm -hmm. hitting it uh-huh she and actually i'm looking at uh i've kind of decided to get a uh twin uh it's a footstone actually because we've got a large monument stone in the middle of the plot but i mean it, it's kind of gonna be like my aunt and uncle's it's got like when they got married and, and that kind of stuff on it so yeah that's that's yeah I need you to do that. I need you to do that. I love people when they do that. Sorry, one of the things I like going to, um, I love history. And I think it's fascinating to go there, like to the cemetery and you can feel and you feel the history and all. And so those are my favorite because you walk through and you're like, oh my God, everybody loves each other and all the story. It's very cool. So um, one day. Would you rather have a angel or a cross on the footstone? Yeah. Uh oh, she just, okay. So right off the bat, while I was asking her that, she said angel. Okay. I kind of thought so. so yeah yeah do an angel you you said you said that and i go i go what would you she goes angel of course it'd be an angel of course i'm like okay fine um what where's her daughter at in the other room mm. she's okay. actually been okay. staying with me for a few days and then she's actually moving home she and her other brother and so it's basically the kids are going to be at home yeah at least I think that's good that. for you. Yeah. yeah. She's changed jobs. Good. She want to get good. back close, she said. Well, I think that is I think that is good for you. I think that is good for them. I yeah, I ask your wife, I go, what do you want to talk about? She says, My daughter. And I go, Okay. And she says, um, 
<laughs> I think maybe her daughter was just as stubborn as her. Maybe that's what that is. Um, and she's talking about, she goes, oh, I love her so much. You know, we could, mm -mm -mm. she goes, but she is, you know, she's just the best. I go, okay. She says that one. So daughter has her bachelor's, but she doesn't have her master's yet. No, no, she didn't. She didn't have a bachelor's either. She's uh, she's going to be a controller, accounting controller for a company. Oh, okay. Because she goes like this. I go, I go. What does the daughter do? What is she going to do? And he, she says like she's uh she's in corporate or she's in a really really good position. And that's why I'm like, okay. And I go, well, what about masters? And she puts an X on that. And I go, okay. So she's moving up in the world. So she's doing pretty darn good there. She um, tell me what. She misses rolling hills. Um, she just wants to like have a glass of tea and sit outside. Like that's what she she wants to do in the house. She says that. Tell me, is this a two-story home? It is. We've got a okay a upstairs, a, like walk-in main area, and then we've got a walk-out basement. Oh, oh, cool. Okay, okay, okay. And she goes like this. I said, "What are you doing?" She says, "I'm going downstairs." And I'm like, "All right, cool. We'll do that." She says that. Um, what? Tell me. It's finished. So the basement's finished. Um, she. No, we're working. No, we're, we're getting it. It's it's finished, but it needs redoing, and, and we're fixing to start working on it. Oh, okay, okay. This is what she says. She's talking about how do we have the laundry in the basement right now, or something? No, laundry's upstairs. What are we doing? It used to be in the basement. Oh, it used to be. Okay, this is what she. I we don't have basements down here. That's not a thing. And um, because we're at the water table, I go, "Where are you at? What are you doing?" And she shows me. This is the best way I can describe it. If we have a basement and then we have it to where it's carpeted or whatever it is and like the walls would be done in a way, but then she's talking about this little section that's still gray and I don't know what that is. Um, and then she's talking about how um, maybe there's a thought of maybe we should move it to the basement. I don't know. I don't know why that would be a thing. She's talking about how what? I said, are they gonna try to do a rental property? And she says, no. Um, I go, okay, like putting that under there. She says, what? She loves Christmas. Um, yeah. Her oh my Christmas God. stuff's down there. Oh, is it? And my oh. daughter talked about moving it up, bringing it up in a, in a bit, getting decorations okay. out. Okay, this is what she's walking around in there in my head. And then she just showed me all of these Christmas decorations and she made me feel this feeling of <gasps> like that. And so I'm like, all right, she's trying. So please, please do that. She loves garland like stuff. She loves all that red and everything. She's, it's all very um, luxurious. So it's very nice. So she keeps talking about, she says that. You like deck out the whole kitchen, everything. Everything is done. She misses have, the trees. We have Christmas breakfast at the house and the kids all come and stuff and we open presents after Christmas morning. And then, uh, yeah, the, actually downstairs, the, that's where the couple of the kids are moving. They're going to be in our that's basement. Like it's, got two, it's got two beds and a bath down there in the kitchen area. Oh, and the den. oh. Yeah. Oh, that's why, okay. Remember how I was talking? So when I said, are you doing a rental property? Yeah. Okay. Because that's what she's showing me. She shows me kitchen and bathroom and stuff. And I was like, are we renting it out? No, it's because the kids are going to stay there because it's a separate house on the bottom. Okay. Your dad, that makes he, sense. He lived, with, he lived with us for two years before he passed away. And yeah. he, he lived down there. We moved him in. He got in where he was having trouble. And we were afraid. He, he lived out in the middle of nowhere. And we were afraid he'd fall or something. And then nobody would know about it for week julie that kept happens. having trouble calling him and where he lived he didn't get really good cell reception and yeah. so we, we went to pulling green probably a half dozen times just to check on him make sure he's okay my poor but, bud yeah. oh my god she loved would it get too cold out. for him down there it would get cool yeah he had a little yeah. easy rant Oh, okay. This is what she, so she's down there still in my head. She's doing a really, your wife um, is doing an amazing job. This is very hard for her. Um, how long has she been gone now? Like what, three months or like less? Less. 
she passed away on the 9th of October. Yesterday was her birthday, Amy. It's been tough. I understand. Oh my gosh. Did y'all do a cake? No, but we ended Aww. up, she, when I, I gave her the reading as a birthday present last year. Yeah, yeah. And this is when it's oh. scheduled for, you know. Yeah. It just fell this way, and I think she knew something was going to happen. And she. That, so today when I got that news, I was in, I was um, editing content, and I go, I told my assistant, I go, this woman, somewhere in her soul, knew that this was going to happen. And the whole thing is that it wasn't a reading for her. It was going to be a reading for you. And you would have never gotten it either any other way. You You're see? right. You're right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I said that and it just, it just rang all the way through me. And this woman is just like, yes. And I'm like, oh, so it is a thing. Remember, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Um, I, I, she's, she's talking to the, the father. She's talking to him downstairs and she was talking and she was saying, you're not cold anymore. Are you dad? Like that. <laughs> She keeps saying, so the father-in-law is down there. Y'all are going to be knocking out walls, I guess, and stuff because we're changing it all up. Um, are you actually going to be doing like a bigger bathroom or what's up with that? No, we're going to, we're going to redo it. We're going to do it. Yeah. It's kind of funny. We're going to do it like in a beach thing, the bathroom. And then yeah. we got to do some flooring and things like that. So it's going to be a pretty mm -hmm. big, pretty big mm -hmm. deal. But we were worried because, you know, just nobody's been down there in quite a while living yeah. or anything so we started just you know started prepping things and then yeah. Yeah. like our oldest son he's upstairs living right now he mm -hmm. actually uh moved back uh i guess it was a couple of months ago when mm -hmm. my wife got pretty sick and then he actually uh took time off from his job to stay home because she got where she couldn't get up. And I have problem and I, I can't lift her. I couldn't lift her anymore. So yeah, he stayed where he could you. take care of her and Good. Come her up. Good. Yeah. She, she, um, really, really, as you're talking, she goes and she shows this gentleman in my head and she looks up to him and she thanks him, looks up to him and thanks him so much. She talks about with um, you, do you have like really bad herniated discs or something? Yeah, I've got ankylosing spondylitis. Holy crap. Yeah, you do. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Okay. I ask her, I go, why can't he lift you? What was going on with that? I said, something with the arms or the shoulders. And she shows me back and she shows me. And I go, oh, okay. She says that, um, she goes, we're going to make it. We're going to make it together. She says, she's interesting. She was running to her um, while you were talking and while she was showing me about your son, she was running into your bedroom. Um, oh, I wonder if she would turn on the TV. Ooh, this woman. There's something about. Do you y'all have a TV in your bedroom right now, up on the wall? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. She's she's in this bedroom and she's showing me this. And I think she may try to turn on the TV at one point. So if you ever come in there and you think you shut it off, but it's on, that would be her. She's going to what would be um. Hold on. Did she not have a jewelry box? She had like a jewelry stand. She sure does. <laughs> in her room she's showing me this in her head and she's like opening this jewelry stand and she's grabbing something out i don't know what it is for some reason it feels like it's black and white to me so maybe it's like black and white diamonds or something or maybe it's silver and black and white something it doesn't make any sense to me it feels a little bit heavier mm -hmm. feels like it would fit here and we've then she's got, running and she, we got um, papers all like all our important papers are in the bottom drawer all in the bottom drawer. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. And then she's talking about how she keeps giving it to you, but then she keeps giving it to the daughter for some reason too. And I don't know, is daughter going to like, what is that about? Well, uh, Hillary, our daughter is going to end up with her jewelry 
and then our our sons they're, they're gonna i've got a couple of rings and stuff and they're gonna end up with that and then i've got guns they're gonna yeah. they're gonna get those. I too. yeah wow okay she goes up to your daughter she has these papers and then she goes and she gets like these it's like if i had a metal brooch with like diamonds on it she's making it ridiculous in my head and she runs up to her and she goes and she's like putting it in her hand and she's like tell him this tell him this tell him i know about this she says that she's what? wearing wearing julie's ring she's wearing one of her diamond rings right now oh perfect oh my god is it a little too big for her yeah she's going to have resized okay i go like this i said she's wearing your ring what do you think and she makes it spin around and i go okay she goes but it's fine it's fine don't lose it don't lose it maybe she keeps talking about putting it on a necklace i'm like she's not going to do that she says that what tell me she kisses her kisses her um so what hmm wait so we didn't have a hospice nurse no yeah interesting i go what i said so can you tell me about your last days can you tell me about the last minutes and she's talking about just being oh, oh, oh it like fades in fades out fades in fades out and i said were they there did they push morphine like how did this go and she says there was no nurse it was just me um she likes to like lay hold on where are you on Was she like laying in the couch? Well, the recliner. Recliner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I go, where are you at? I just I heard her voice. In the couch, but I, I don't think we could have gotten her up as easily as we could. Uh, Correct. No. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. I go, where were you at? And she says, I couldn't get in the bed. She, I just heard a voice and I go, okay. And then she makes me feel like, you know, how couches or recliners, they have, you know, the squishy seats. And yeah. now she's making me feel like it goes into my back like that. And I go, okay. And she says that, um, what happened? Wait, hold on. She's walking me through the last minutes. Hang on. People are like coming back and checking on her again and again and again. Um, were you out of the room when she like left at the end? Okay. No, it's right there. Bar. You were right there. This is what she shows me. Only reason you're in the house, you're there. She goes like this. She has um, everybody almost like sitting around with bated breath. And then she's giving me images of people like walking out or like you walking out, going into the kitchen, man, God, and then coming back in and then coming in to sit by her and then walking out and then come. So it's like, there's this nervousness about it. We, um, we were doing that all morning. All morning, all yeah. morning. Yeah. Sunday I think she, you know, it was just, and she was just, slowing down her breathing like you said her breathing was really really labored mm -hmm. so and yeah. you know we had talked about it before about going back to the hospital and she didn't want to go back yeah. so yeah you did a good job you did exactly what she i think at that point she was already out of her body and she's she's not dead yet but she's kind of detached so her soul's leaving um and so it's part of this and so she's watching you She's watching everybody. She's watching people around her. Um, and um, can you ask her about says, what she did right at the very end? Yeah, yeah. Hang on, let's see. Weird. Were we at the, right at the very end? Do we feel like? Ooh, this is hard. she made she gave me a feeling i don't it's not a hiccup she gave me a feeling of like or like something like that um hold on what tell me did she like wake up for a split second like roll her eyes and then go back yep yeah was, okay we, were, we wondered what she was seeing 
whether it was she just kind of looked angels. around the room with her eyes really big. Uh-huh. Angels. This is what she shows me. She goes, I said, what happened to you? She goes, um, she makes me feel this. She goes, oh. and I go, well, show me one more time. I said, is that it? And then she goes, wow, like in my head. And then she's talking about in her head, the thoughts were, I just want to tell them I love them like that. So it's like all these things mixed into one. It's angels. It's telling them I'm okay. It's the last hurrah. And it's also letting them know that I'm fine because I feel like we were very, very peaceful before then, like labored, but very. And then she talks about how there's this big hiccup <clears throat> and then out. And so I want to let you know that the angels and the, the her dad and spirits and your mom were all there and this little girl was coming to get her and she was okay. She was okay. They were making that final separation from, from the body. Um, she what? Tell me. I know, baby. I know. I know. That's what she keeps saying. She keeps telling you that. She um she keeps holding your hand over and over again. Um, you go, God, and um you say a prayer. She keeps saying God is real. And I was like, it is. Duh. Yeah, it is. Um, she won. She keeps calling you her sweet man over and over and over again. Um, what? Mm -mm. You will see her again. Now, this is a whole interesting thing with you. Is that I feel at some point, and I don't want you to be nervous. I think even you would be welcome to this. I think at some point down the line, your wife is going to take you home. She will be the one to snatch you out of your body and say, you're coming with me. <laughs> so... It will be very quick when that happens. There's not going to be any of this whole, I have cancer, like I'm dying for forever. This is like, oh, dad had a heart attack in his chair. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> and you'll be like, bye. And it's because your wife is going to be the one that, because that's who she is. Um, and so she's talking about it and letting you know, like, I don't want you to go through the pain so long. I don't want you to go through this. And she's like, when he's ready, he's ready. I feel like this time for you with the kids is going to be very important. This is almost like one of your your phases, like one of our, our last phases. So it's about um, learning who you are more at the same time, being around the kids, being around what we would have as like grandkids, like seeing this area, enjoying this time. And then she keeps talking about the dogs, the dogs. Did y'all have a lot of dogs that died? Oh, Lord, yes. Oh, my God. Okay. She has them. Um, She goes, and the dogs. I go, well, what about them? And she has like a herd brr, 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 running through yep. the house in my head. And uh, like, it's such a huge thing. What? What? Oh, we got them all, honey. We got them all. We got them all, honey. Um. Those are your babies. I, I don't know. Like you have big ones, small ones, all the way through every single type, all the colors. Yeah. She, yeah, she keeps talking about how they're all, she says that, um, she keeps talking about hearing them running up the stairs. There's going to be a point. Your house is, hold on. Are y'all the first one to build this house? No, it's my parents' house. I, I lived, I lived here when I was, you know, I think we moved in, I was five. And then I lived here till I got married. And then I, we, I bought a house in town and my wife and I moved into it. Once we got married, we got home from the honeymoon, we moved in and we lived there till my mom passed away. And then my two brothers live within sight of me. So we, uh, we got a family farm. We don't farm anymore, but we've got the, the three of us live within sight. And I've got a nephew that lives just right down the road. So. So that's why, okay, that's why this is old school. She keeps talking about how this family or y'all's family is like, I would even say like the first one or the only one here, like that whole thing. And she, she talks, that's why I was like, did y'all build this? Like, cause it just feels like y'all. Um, and she's talking about, she keeps putting, um, she keeps showing me like old historic home in my head over and over and over again. And, um, oh, if walls could talk. If walls could talk, she says, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, what? Tell me. They used to use the fireplaces. So y'all have a lot of, do y'all have like three or four fireplaces in here? Yeah, we had two. 
You do. Okay, cool. She's saying she's just talking about you running around. Oh, it's so, oh, this is in a different area. Um, what? So you had like your best time here at this home. That is the whole thing. Oh, we've got a fire pit outside too. You? Oh, she likes it. She says that your daddy's proud of you. Well, that's nice. Good. That is interesting. I feel like maybe he would have been a harsher man. So mom is like your big caretaker. Dad was kind of more straightforward. Is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Because she's talking the way she makes me feel is like, hey, this is a big deal. Please let him know. Okay. Um, he loves you. He, in the best way that he can show it. She says, um, she goes, that's why he married me. Um, what? When it's time to get rid of my stuff, you can. I don't think you're going to be doing that for quite a long time. I don't think that's going to happen. She, um, she's obsessed with her shoes and her clothes. She loves her things. Loves her things. She says what? Well, you talked about her wearing heels and stuff. Yeah. Uh huh. I can imagine she is because she uh, had a through surgery back in the late nineties. She got paralyzed on her left side from the knee down. So yeah. she ended up, she didn't wear heels after that. You know, she couldn't balance. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of funny that she's wearing heels now that she mm -hmm. should not worry about falling. So. Mm -mm. No, well, she's funny because she was showing me. That's what they do. She's not, I would even say in my head, the way that she looks is she would be nothing short, nothing over 30. 31 32 nothing over that and so she is a, a sassy a sassy lady in a great way but all the mindset of what she is now and so when she's walking you can hear thump 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 and i'm like okay but it's like the block heels you know so it's not the super thin ones so like that's where she's at she um tell me She says, I'll cook you whatever you want whenever you get to heaven. So she's definitely uh, keeping you around. Yeah, you're. Uh, she loves to feed you. She loves to make you happy. Um, your wife is not gone. She is in a higher vibrational state, which is in what we like to call heaven. She's around you. Now, this is the one thing I'm going to teach you before I go. I want to teach you how to get not only feel her, but I want to teach you how to get signs from her that are unique. I don't like the signs of like, oh, my God, I saw a bird. I don't care. I live in Houston. There's birds everywhere. Yeah. Right. Or a coin. I want you to do ones that are specific. So this is what I do for my family because they're all dead. Is I want you to take a moment, especially when the golf is call. Oh, she wants to kiss the youngest son. So give him a kiss. Give the oldest one the biggest hug in the world and tell him that he's going to be all right. Your daughter, she is going to be beside her the entire time. She says, like, thank you for everything. She says that we have everybody here. You have no idea how well protected you are. Talk, talk, talk. talk. The, I younger, love this the younger brother is actually adopted. Ah, okay. Okay. I like it. That doesn't mean they don't love them. That works. Um, and then, so she's, she, this is what I want you. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. What? Weird. She just showed me kittens. That doesn't make any sense. Um, and then she, um, are you going to get a, can you get like a chocolate lab puppy? Are you kidding me? No. What is that? Oh my God. When I, we were doing your meditation uh -huh. while we were on vacation. Uh -huh. And uh, I ended up, my step grandfather, who was in World War I, showed up riding a horse and there was a dog with him. And it was a chocolate lab and it was, it was named Mocha. And we thought, I thought it was going to come before Julie passed away, but that's, I guess he's still coming or she is. Yeah. Yes. Oh, how weird. Oh, how interesting. Just, yeah, just wait. Oh, how weird. Yeah. She put um chocolate lab in my head. She put puppy and then she gave it to you. Oh. Okay. I guess so, I can no. Come. <laughs> uh-huh yeah yeah she wants that so oh so oh my god do you know what that means the meditation 
saving the day. So like the uncle in World War One that shows up on a horse saving the day, knight in shining armor, bringing this dog, right? Who is that drawn by? Julie, that's coming there to help you. Oh my God, weird. Okay, so do that. If that falls in your lap, which it will, because they talk about that, please take it, please accept it. And please let me know. Okay. Okay. Or if you have an option where it says chocolate lab puppies, go there and get it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I need you to do that. So what I want you to do with, with Julie is I want you to take a moment, have a good breather, have a good cry. And then I want you to call her in. She's already here. She lives in your house. Um, I want you to, um, oh, I just got, I just almost cried. She loves you so much. And I, you are everything to her. She is just the most wonderful feeling person in the entire world and she is okay and she's going to take your ass home one day and you you will be so happy when that happens and it will be good. It will be good. Um she she so take a moment, call her and she's already here and then I want you to pick a random symbol or sign that you want to see from her. So choose something like a pineapple or choose something like, I don't know, um, a purple dragon, something random that you want to see. And then for a moment, think of it in your head, feel it and say, Julie, or like a tomato, just something you wouldn't normally see and say, Julie, I want to see this in my reality in now, the next 24 hours. You also Tell mentioned me. tomato. Tomato. Little, yeah. Little, what about that? Story. Um, yeah. It had only been a few days after Julie passed away. We yeah. had no ripe tomatoes make it because we've got so many birds and chipmunks and everything else because my wife feeds them. Mm -hmm. That uh, mm -hmm. they, they were eating the tomatoes before they got ripe. Well, I found a tomato that it looked like it had been picked and was just sitting in the middle of the garden area. So I'm like, well, that's, that's pretty wild. I'm like, got a feeling that Julie may have done this or something. Then yeah. the next day or two, I look and there's a little like pile of them next to the garden. We got a raised garden and yeah. there's like four of them sitting there and looks like they've been picked and they're just sitting there on the, on the ground. So I, I think she was, doing that because she knows it's going to take something major for me to be able to go oh well that must be a sign from julie okay yeah well this also here i can tell you when i teach people that i never say tomato and what she just showed me is my dad used to garden tomatoes and was my favorite thing and that's what he liked and he used to have the cages and so she put that in my head and she put these little like almost what would be um like garden just garden tomatoes right and she puts that there and i was like tomato I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, that's her. And we ended up, her mom loves them. So none of us eat them. It was just Julie oh. that ate them. So we ended up, I, I gave them to her mom. And oh, mom them a lot too. yeah, I know. Well, she, she is, she's not bad. She's good. She, she will be there. Ask for those, ask for those specific signs and she'll bring them forward. Okay, and so this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to take a moment and have a good cry. Then I'm gonna take a moment later on and I'm gonna have a good prayer for her because I just freaking love her and she did such an amazing job. And then if you need me or if you have any questions, just email me first, okay? Right. And I want you to, I don't like to say keep positive. I just want you to know that she's okay, but it's also okay to miss somebody because you love them. But I also want you to know that she is around and those kisses that you feel are real and that you're going to be okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you, my Thank friend. You with me substituting it. I know. I know. Just email me if you need me. You got it? Yeah, will do. Okay. I love you. Thank you.